Hi guys, it's Sharon with Little Britain Company, and I just remembered I forgot to turn my lights on. How's that? Better. Um, so we are fresh back from the UK. We've been back for a couple of days, just trying to reacclimate. Um, I have some. I as I tell you some of this, uh, as I show you some of this wonderful things that I got while we were there, I will tell you uh, about some of our interesting travels and trials and tribulations. <laughs> on our journey. Um, it was, however, just an absolutely wonderful time. We had a wonderful time. Um, so having said that, I have, um, I really wanted to share with you all some of what we did and um, some of what we got. <laughs> um, for those of you who uh, had a chance to watch the uh the visit to the um sewing box which was one of the stores that i ran into in the uk um and i'll link it below i will show you those things too i did absolutely get some things there i brought back a lovely cough cold thing <laughs> a party gift from the uk um it was it was just i can't even tell you how nice it was it was just such an absolutely wonderful time um so I have a lot to show you, and I'm not going to do it all in one video because, quite frankly, this would be a four-hour video. <laughs> I just, I think I often do one-hour videos, and I love doing those, but I think four hours might actually be pushing it. Uh, so um, I'm going to break this into, I think, four videos for you. I'm going today, I'm going to show you um, our souvenirs. And the things that we picked up for ourselves, you know, some of the souvenir things that we picked up for ourselves and for family and friends. Um, we do, we just have absolutely the best neighbors in the world. Uh, we, you know, grandma Lynn literally lives next door. And then, um, we have Ty and Lynn next door on the other side and we just have the best neighbors ever. Truly. Um, so we all, you know, they, they took care of the property and things for us. We brought back a few things. Um, and then, of course, we brought things back for our eldest and his lovely wife. <clears throat> so, um, and you know, things things for us because you know we like souvenirs. <laughs> um, I didn't bring the tea. We'd also got t-shirts in one place. I didn't bring those in, but so that's going to be today's video. Will be some of our, our souvenirs. It's the beginning of like the four part series, maybe five. Um, and then uh, I think the next video, uh, and I'm going to try to do these right away because I need to get back in and giving you guys videos. I've been trying to, you know, I, I did set a few up while I was gone, but I want to make sure I'm, you know, sharing with you. I really enjoy doing that. Um, and I hope you enjoy seeing it. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, so, souvenirs today. And then I believe uh, tomorrow will be, um, oh, arts and crafts, all the arts, artistic, you know, the craft stuff that I bought while I was there. Um some of which was purchased at charity shops. So that is a little bit of a combo there. Charity shops, that's the same thing that we call thrift stores, except that in the UK, it's they don't do like an overall, this is thrift and we're gonna share it somehow. Um, every shop has a specific charity they're associated with. So that's why they call it a charity shop. They're very specific. You'll see like the, R, the um, RSPCA, which is the Royal SPCA. Um, you might see uh, heart foundations and all of those things, which is kind of cool because you know exactly where your money's going. It's not a general blanket. Hey, we're going to share it out to the community somehow. It is a very specific, we're going to share it here, 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 and here. And so there are quite a few charity shops um, and they're super fun. Uh, and I'll tell you at that day, I'll tell you all about the day that I spent um, with my absolutely lovely um, sister-in-law, Mitch who is just one of my favorite people. And so uh, charity shops will be one day. Um, and I uh, will share with you to some extent, that will be the day because we I purchased quite a bit of clothing for Little Brit. He is so hard to fit here in the States. He is tall, he is skinny, um, and he's only 13. So finding things that are the right size, the right shape and age appropriate, um, but we were able to do so and that fit his style. He has a very specific style. So, um, we did pretty good. And he has actually said that he will do a little modeling for us. He'll try them on and show you what they look like. 
Um, so we'll do the charity shop. So we've got uh, we've we've got souvenirs. We've got um, art uh, the uh, craft, uh, and I'll show you what I bought at the at the sewing box. Um, we'll do uh, the uh, charity shop and the try-ons. There's a little bit of mixture on some of those, um, and then I'm going to do food. Um, and I think I had mentioned that before. Of course, Little Brit and I are both gluten free, and in the U.S that really gives us incredibly limited choices. Uh, I mean, we're very, very limited about where we can eat um, <clears throat> and what we can eat, you know, what we can eat. And as far as some of the, you know, easy to get packaged food that people who can have gluten can ha can get to, there's not a lot of that for us here. In the UK, that's different. Um, but there wasn't a restaurant we went into that did not have multiple choices for us. Um, there was one in particular that we went to Boswell's that had a full gluten-free menu. And that was just so nice to be able to go into places and the food at their ha entire aisles of food. So I'm actually going to show you what we brought back and we brought back a lot. We probably, we, we split it between suitcases because we were ma managing weight between the force, you know, of course we brought back our son, Tom, which is amazing. Um, so we have, we split everything between the four suitcases, the big ones that got into the hold and even the smaller ones just to redistribute weights because we brought back a lot, but we went way like half of our weight. So we knew we could bring back a decent amount. I mean, we planned for that. Um, anyway, so I think that those are going to be the four videos, um, interspersed with that. I may throw in, um, what do y'all think? Y'all tell me in this video. Let me know what you think. Would you like me to throw in some of the pictures and, a, and some small snippets from the travels um, in these videos? Or would you like me to do sort of a travel video and just kind of show you a little bit about what we did and a little bit of conversation? And I can probably include, you know, Big Brit, Little Brit, Middle Brit <laughs> in on those. Tell me what you want, what, what you're thinking. Um, cause I would love to hear what, what you all are thinking. Okay. Moving up. I'm going to show you what we got S today is, oh, oh, my camera is just going nutty on me. Let me move a little closer to you. Um, <clears throat> as I said, we're, we, we're still in the process of recovering. We've been back for only one full day. Um, and as I start to get souvenirs, uh, to show you, I want, I'll just tell you that we we're just lucky enough to be traveling when the whole IT problem hit. Um, this camera's going to me up. Uh, and, and hit, it did. So it, it did create uh, travel issues for us. We were supposed to travel. We were supposed to leave the UK, fly out at about 5.30 and be back in the States by about 8.15. And then we had about a four-hour drive home because we were traveling in and out of Dulles. Um, yeah. It didn't quite work that way, so because we figured that was that was okay, then we would be home by around midnight, um, and that's okay driving time for the both of us. And then you know get a good decent night's sleep, pick up the pups first thing in the morning because we were anxious to see them. We we got home. We finally pulled into our driveway because of all the delays and the issues. We pulled into our driveway at uh, six forty five a.m. Yep on the 19th and then um and then big brit and uh and our middle brit um got right back in the car as soon as we unloaded it they they just put everything on the porch little brit and i got everything inside and i started sorting they went straight off to pick up the pups but we were all pretty exhausted <laughs> pretty exhausted so actually i guess we've been home for two days um because we had yesterday to start to get back um, and we started getting some of the rooms in a little better space so that they work better for a 22 year old. Okay. Having said all that, if you want more, if you want to know the whole story, um, if I do that in that separate video that I, where I show you pictures and a little video, I can do it there. But it was a very, very interesting travel day. Okay. Um, let me show you souvenirs. <clears throat> some of these we actually picked up in the airport because it was hard to find um, some cool souvenirs in other places. They're just, you know, it's like anywhere here. You don't, you wouldn't walk into a store here and find all sorts of USA stuff necessarily in the souvenir form. Um, okay, I, 
this one was for us. I picked this one up because I love it. And I, I really want a cool display up on this shelf here um, of some of my, you know, some British tins. And I want to use them for certain things. This one is a bank. Um, it has toffee in it, I think. Oh, it has vanilla fudge from the Silver Crane Company. Um, but I just loved, it's very unusual to see like the little actual see-through windows. I thought that was very cool. And I think it's sealed. I'm going to pull a toffee out. So I haven't tasted these. This particular one was just for us. Um, a lot of these, you know, it's funny because when you're at Heathrow, they have a lot of wonderful shopping. They know that you're, you know, you're leaving and you probably need some things to bring back. Um, so often in the stores, you can get things, um, buy two or buy one, get one free or buy two, get one free. Um, okay. So I've got the tape off and so oh look at that oh how cute are these i don't even open it look these are how the toffees are i may have to see if i can save the toffee wrappings i know i'm weird all right so or the fudge i'm sorry vanilla fudge so we've got these cute little pieces and mmm It actually tastes like caramel. Oh, I'm keeping these. I am going to flatten these and reuse them for something because they're so cold. Um, mm. it's really good. One thing about the UK is they are very, very careful with their ingredients. I'm taking a quick look because I didn't before I should have to see whether there's wheat in here and there's not. <clears throat> I want to show you how they set theirs up. So you can see anything that might be an allergen is immediately bolded in the list, not at the bottom as we do here, but right there in the list as you're looking through it. So it's easy, easy to see. I'm just, I just have to, you know, just go on. Out of sight. So, it's a bank. This is really cool. I also may take some of these and use them to decorate the um, my booth. Well, mm, so good. All right, next. Love this. Now, this is this is one of the ones that's going to be a souvenir. Um, we bought three of these, one for us to keep and two for some souvenirs for family. This is, what is it? Triple chocolate chunk biscuits. Now, because, <coughs> excuse me, because we had quite a delay at the airport, we did not, we hadn't really planned on eating at the airport. So we're sitting there. We're not really sure how far we can go. We don't really know when they're going to call the flight. So, um, the only two, the only person in our party of four who could eat these because Big Brit's allergic to chocolate. He's allergic to caffeine. So he can't eat chocolate. And of course, this has wheat in it. So Little Brit and I can't eat it. So the only one who could have some of these <laughs> was our middle, middle son, Tom. Um, but he said they were quite delicious. So we opened up the one that we're keeping. Um, but I do love, I love the latch. I just thought that this was absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> and then we got this. Isn't that cool? I thought this one was wonderful. Uh, this one has uh, filled with, it's got more of the vanilla fudge. So this should be the same fudge I just had. Now, again, we bought three of these. Let me show you the backside. We ended up with three of these. Look at the top. It is fabulous. So again, we have some of these are for um, um are, are for dust it to um souvenirs for uh, for family and friends, and then one of these is for us. Um, now I know my husband's taste. This he normally does not like fudge because usually it's chocolate. He's gonna like these. He's gonna like these because they taste more like a caramel almost. 
Okay, so that one was really cute. Got that at Heathrow. <clears throat> now, this one we picked up at Marks and Spencer when we were out shopping. Marks and Spencer is like a grocery store. It's a high end one. It's like it's got a high end grocery store in one section, and then it's got a very it's got a pretty high end uh, clothing. It's they have clothing and housewares and things, but more high, think about. Um, I don't know that Belk is still, I mean, I don't, and I don't know, you know, what part of the country anyone's from, but kind of the way when I was younger, we used to have stores like this, that they would have food, but they would also have, you know, your high end clothing and, and uh, housewares and things. Marks and Spencer's is like that. Okay. And they now sell some in this country, but I had not seen this absolutely adorable tin. Now, we bought this um, from the Marks and Spencer when we were just rambling around one of the towns one day. My hair's a mess. Um, oh, my word. I just made it worse. Oh, well. Um, and it was full of these double Devon toffees. If you have a chance to get to a Marks and Spencer and get double Devon toffees, please do. They are delicious. And they are some, they were something that Little Bird and I could eat. And we did. <laughs> <laughs> we very, very much enjoyed them. And again, um, you can see, <clears throat> um, and this one was suitable for vegetarians too, because they're very specific about letting people know. But again, you can see on the bottom is our printed all the, all the information you could possibly need um, about these. So uh, I do also want to point out, this says 11024, right? So in the, if you're unfamiliar with it in the UK and in Europe, mostly in the rest of the world. Um, that's not going to, you know how will I might say month, day, year. They say day, month, year. So this is the 1st of October. This, this is fresh until the 1st of October, not until the January 10th. Just if you weren't familiar with that. I certainly wasn't until I went to live there because it was very confusing to me. Um, okay, uh, we picked up some of these. This was at, this was at a, um, hmm, I want to say maybe a WH, not Waterstones. Maybe it was Waterstones. I don't remember. Um, really, this is a T. Do I have that upside down? English. There was an English breakfast tea. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, English afternoon tea. But I love the crust. These are just really sweet pieces. I thought these were adorable. Little Brit loves tea, so we bought one of these for us and some of these for other souvenirs. Um, so, oh, it got bent. We can, I think we can get that bent out. Yeah, okay. So something that Little Brit really wanted, this was again from Marks and Spencer, <clears throat> was this tin. Super, super cute. Um, so this had the Scottish shortbread. Again, that was something that Little Brit and I could not eat um, that was something I think that I, I think it got eaten by maybe, maybe we, we left that with, um, his big sister with Ash. Um, so it just a really cool tin, uh, that he just fell in love with and thought he, that he would have some good uses for this. And I thought, you know, a nice square tin like this, there's a lot you can do with that. It is hard to travel with these things without some bending. We only got one of those tins. Um, this one, what is this full of? Before I, I'm going to tell you what it's full of. Uh, this is filled with, oh, more Devon toffee. Okay. Big bin. So we did go to London one day and we were supposed to go see Big Ben and our day just got away. London is huge. So we had originally planned on spending two days in London, just doing one day and then going back. Um, and then there was just so much stuff for us to do. And, you know, we were spending so much lovely time with our family. We decided to do London for one day. We just didn't get to do everything, everything we wanted to. So Little Brit really wanted to see Big Ben again because the last time he sold it was with scaffolding. We didn't get over there. So I did, we did get him one of these. So he could just remember Big Ben. Um, we did, we did a lot. We did a lot. And he got to see something that he, he we, we went to the Imperial War Museum, which he, loved he loved seeing all the planes walking through so that was a really cool place to go um but yeah it was you know it was fun um we found 
This is a gift for a friend. And this was at a grocery store, interestingly enough. And the, here, I'm going to show you the other one that I'm using right now. These are actually beers. These are actually beers. These, this, these are names of beer. Um, and so, you know, Big Brit being Big Brit, <clears throat> he he was buying Hobgoblin, one of his favorite, and he can't get it here. I mean, it's very, very difficult to get here. Uh, but Hobgoblin is, he just loves, loves Hobgoblin. So he bought some of the Hobgoblin and we ended up getting this for free. They do that a lot in the UK. You know, that we used to do that here. We used to see that here. But so you bought a, a case of hot and you got one free and, but you could buy them individually. So we bought, he bought this one for the, our neighbor who was helping, um, helping watch the house and keep an eye on things. Excuse me. I'm just getting, you know, I heard everyone. I'm, I have a quick sip. Okay. So the, uh, by the way, this is, I have not seen these. I do use bulk, uh, bulk cozies. I do use the drink cozies a lot, but this one has a handle. I love that it's got a handle. That's just, you know, I can just do that. It's great. Pretty cool, actually. I didn't actually see drink cozies anywhere else, I don't think. Um, uh, this cute little thing. Um, I, this is less of a souvenir and just more of something that I thought was pretty cool. Um, these are uh, thank you teacher gift pin sets. And then... Um, Honestly, it's just for my desk. I just thought they were fun and something that I can't get here um, that I can put on my desk if I can get it open. I'm trying. They seal things pretty well. Okay, there we go. So I picked this up at there's the card store. A few things there. So it just says greatest teacher not that i think i am but um and then top teacher and i just thought those were super fun uh just kind of a fun thing to put on my desk um okay so we also got i this we had but pocket uh, map of london you know everything's on your phone now but it's kind of nice to have this one what i like about this one and we picked this up last time we were in the uk um, what I liked about this one is that a lot, it has all of the little, you know, information about what you can see. And then it does have this nice fold out map, not only the map, but it's got the tube, <clears throat> which we did take the tube and it's very useful to have a map right there with you. So we went to, I'm pulling away from everybody. We went to Bath um, to see the Roman baths and, uh, and spent a day there or part half of a day there. Um, and it was lovely. It was so fun, and the way you get to touch history, um, I can't even kind of describe it, but um, so we, 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 we didn't, we got a chance to just kind of peek in. It was really quite rainy that day to peek in and see some of these. We sat right there. I mean, you're literally right there. They tell you don't put your fingers in, but if you, you know, if you reach down and put your fingers in, that's right there. So we bought, I bought those two to uh, remember. And then I bought a bunch of these because I wanted to make some notebooks. And these might just be for family that I make them. I have very limited numbers of these. Um, but I just bought a bunch of the Union Jack um, postcards because it's really fun. We went to this adorable, what was that place called? Jack and, Jack and Jane, something like that. I don't think I've got it on here. Um, we went to this really cool little shop, Jack and something. Um, literally, wait, it was on a bag, which I no longer have in front of me. <laughs> right, right across from the bath, your entrance into the baths. Really, really wonderful. If you want souvenirs from the UK, go there. Absolutely wonderful. I, we did splurge on this. Um, I'm going to open it a little bit for you. So I can show you because I saw this in their window and I thought I have to have it. It is gorgeous. This is, um, they say it's hand sewn. So there's some print here that they are able to get. But as you, I mean, it, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. 
So it's two-sided and I want to show you close up. It is, that must be the name, um, Powell Craft. Sewn on both ends and then in between the Union Jack, you get the crown. And again, I mean, and, and again, and again, and again, it's two-sided. Fully sewn both sides. I mean, one side's not just print out. It's fully sewn on both sides. So this one was one of our biggest, you know, single expenditures um, because I spent 40 pounds on this. I'm, I'm cheap. I'm, uh, but on this single piece, I spent 40 pounds and I thought this was worth it because I really want to put this up um, across my tent. Uh, or, you know, I just want to, I just want to have, the, have this up. I, I know I'm gushing. Uh, but it's so super cool. I just fell in love with it. Um, I did find this. I was really happy to find this really awesome little, it's just a little notebook. Um, but my lovely daughter-in-law, she's kind of, you know, she, she does a lot of writing. She does a lot. Um, and I just thought this would be something hopefully that she'll enjoy and get some real use out of. <clears throat> so that's for, that's for her. Um, I did buy myself this little guy. This was again in Bath. That shop was, I can't even tell you how much fun that shop was. It was, it, I just, you know, I could have just spent a lot more money there. And it, and if I had any more room, if I really thought I had any more room in my luggage, I would be upset that I hadn't. But we really, really came down to the wire in the luggage. Um, so it's just this cute little, they had so many different ones. I'm going to take out the little foam. It's just a little, you know, little book you can throw your card in there or change. In the UK, you know, you're getting a lot of change because you're not, you're not going to get a dollar bill. You're going to get, um, you're going to get a pound coin or a two pound coin and a lot of coins. So we just kept, the coins get heavy and they, they get everywhere. So it's nice to have just a little coin purse. And I just thought it's so precious really cool it's funny that i got this in bath and not in london but they had other ones they had the union jack one they had some that were specific to bath um for uh for our for the house let me get that out of the way i did get us this cute little bath magnet it's very 3d so i thought that i want to have that on the refrigerator just as a reminder and Hopefully I'll include, some, you know, a picture or two. I can just put this uh, picture of, of us at Bath. So um, it was Big Brit, Little Brit, Middle Brit, and me. And um, because our daughter was, was working about a little more than half the time we were there. She couldn't get all that time off. And then she was, she and her absolutely lovely second half were able to join us um, in, um, <clears throat> for the last like three days of our trip so fun and she was actually at the airport to meet us which was so her father knew big brit knew that uh that she was going to be there i didn't think anyone was going to be able to get because it's middle of the week i didn't think anyone was going to be able to come meet us and it was funny getting off the plane i was like it's so different getting off the plane now because the last time we came there was a whole crew you know everybody was there to meet us and this time I was like, it's so strange to get off and no one's going to be here. And he, Big Brit was in front of me on purpose, I now know. And then he stepped aside and there's my wonderful daughter with a big surprise sign. It was just so fun. She's so lovely. Okay. Um, I did pick up this very cool, uh, just, it's just a patch. Um, and I don't remember where I picked this one up. There were so many different really nice ones. Um, but I thought this one was just going to be, this is something I'll use for a little Brit for something, um, for him. We did get, I can't believe we got these. Now, if you, a lot of us, and I was absolutely included in this before I lived there, before I met my husband, I thought this was the British flag and this is not, this is the Union Jack or English flag. Okay. This is more UK. This is the flag of England specifically. And so had to pick this up, so had to put, so we'll, we'll probably have one bunting over the other bunting. Um, but this one was really super fun. And there were two of these, so I'm assuming one of the, one of them got it out. So Big Brit and Little Brit both wanted one of these fun little, um, buttons. 
that you put on your hat. So we got those. This is, you would think that this was for Little Brit. It's not, it was for me. Look how fun that is. It's just a little soldier with a British pin. He's super cool. I will keep him on my desk here. Um, okay, and then we found these. I don't know how, I don't think, I've got to work with them a little bit because, oh, that's a little bit better. They did not make it through very well. They got a little bit smushed. Um, we bought these at just a regular store. Um, just a regular store. Oh, keeps working away. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to kind of get it to stay where it's supposed to stay. Mostly because I was thinking these would look pretty cool somewhere on, um, on the tent for display. So they come in you know, a big packages. And I think they were like a pound. They were not expensive. But again, um, this was hard to travel with and they did get a little bit crushed. So if anyone has an idea of how to, you can see, this is like that heavy duty plastic. Um, how I might, I'm, I'm wondering maybe heat might take out the, the um, creases. I, and I knew it was a risk, but for a pound, I was like, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make the risk. So I told you while we were in Bath, it was raining. It wasn't just drizzling and it drizzled on us in a couple, in Bath, it poured rain. It was pouring. So I, when, when we first got there and it was drizzling, I was like, I'm going to stop and buy an umbrella. And I did. I went and I stopped and I bought this adorable umbrella. And when you open it up, it's a full Union Jack umbrella. And then Little Brit looked at that and he was like, I really want one of those. Because he can put this in his backpack. Like, okay. So after we were done with the tour, we went back to, to one of the stores and, we, and I bought him one of those. And then when we walked back to the car, we passed another, um, this one was a little bit more general stuff. This is not huge. <clears throat> and we saw another umbrella. This one was 10 pounds. We saw another umbrella that was a full stand-up umbrella. It doesn't fold down. Um, but that one was another giant UK. And that one, you can have two people underneath it. And he was like, oh, can I have that one? <laughs> it's an umbrella. We use umbrellas all the time. Sure. So we picked that. That was only 12 pounds. So, so bad. Um, and so let me see what else we have. The, I'm almost done with the, um, yeah, with the souvenirs. There we go. This actually was less a souvenir. And this was a gift from our lovely daughter uh, because my husband was, was raised, uh, lived most of his life in Newbury. So this is from, and this is not pronounced Newberry, Newberry, it's pronounced Newberry. Um, so we, so she had picked up this Monopoly version for us and I can't wait to play it, hopefully sometime this week. But these are all places he immediately recognizes. So um, we thought that was, you know, let me show you the back. Very, very cool, very, very sweet of her. I put that one down. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> And, um, oh, I'm going to hold on. This one. This is very strange. I know it's very strange. And I found this, but I found, I picked up this elbow grease stain remover. Um, my daughter said she's used this and it works very well. And it is elbow grease stain remover bar is great for removing everyday stains from fabrics. Easy to use. It's ideal for pre-treatment of stains before a wash. <coughs> and contains no bleach or abrasives. So I'm really, I'm really excited to try it. I know, weird, weird. But I also brought back, <coughs> excuse me, but I can't find it at the moment. The laundry sheets that we use, they had like the laundry sheets that you just, they're like the flat sheets that you throw into the wash. And my clothes were cleaner than ever. Um, they were brighter. I think probably it has more to do with, I need to, I need to do something to wash my machine. My mother-in-law said run a load with just vinegar and I'm going to try that. Um, and we'll see if that kind of clean, cause I know wash machines need cleaning like anything else. So after a while, the gunk that comes off your clothes goes somewhere. So I'll try that. But anyway, I wanted to try this because I found several things when I was trying to pack, um, 
that are some of my favorite clothes. Some of my, you know, Little Bird's favorite clothes. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the cold. It's a cough. It gives you a really scratchy throat. I don't think it's COVID. Okay. Um, so, uh, um, yeah, wash machines. Got to get clean. But I found some of the things that I had planned on packing, I would find like a stain here or a stain there. I'm like, why do I have stains on these clothes? Why did I not notice it? Because they come out and I fold them right away. I'm not really looking and I need to be looking better before I put them in and making sure I'm pre-treating. And some things I had pre-treated and they still came out with the stain. So I need a way to try to get those off because they're some of my favorites. I don't want to get rid of them. The clothes are still great, but I can't deal with the stains, you know? Nobody wants that. Okay, and then uh, this we picked up for Big Brit. Now, um, one of the things you're not going to see, Little Brit, because Little Brit already has put it away up on his shelf. Uh, we bought him a little model airplane of the Spitfire. I think the Spitfire. No, not the Spitfire. It was, um... oh my gosh, I can't think of it. It was another plane that was still in use. He, he just really likes, he likes the idea of planes. He likes, he understands how they fly. Um, he said for his 18th birthday, he wants um pilot training he knows i won't let him do it <laughs> okay this is just a puzzle and big brit really really likes <clears throat> puzzles um and and planes and so um he's uh big brit is um should have been an engineer because he can engineer just about anything put that aside um okay and then I have some very, by the way, when we get into the crafting section, I have some super exciting finds that I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, we bought this one. It's a silly thing, but um, Grandma Lynn loves Daisy Duck, and she is very, very difficult to find. So what, this has, you know, the other one, but the fact that it had Daisy Duck on it, we just had to find buy that, and we've got some souvenirs for her. And then... Um, we found these. These are just regular bags. I mean, these are just the ones that they're, um, but they were fun. And we thought these were great souvenir bags. So we bought some of those. And I think that is it. Now, there may be some other souvenirs that never made that have been immediately put away. <laughs> Little Bird was busy getting his stuff put away. Um, but that's it for the souvenirs. So I hope you enjoyed this first look at what we did. Um, there are lots more stories <clears throat> coming. But the next video is going to be all of the craft items that I found. And let me tell you, I found some pretty amazing things. I am incredibly excited about. Just incredibly excited to show you. So I hope you come back for the next one because... Oh, I did forget something. I don't know how I could forget this one. This is going to be the last one. <clears throat> this is a Kath Kitson bag. And quite frankly, uh, Kath Kitson in London, it is very well made. Um, it's it's not, you know, it's, it's a regular shopping bag that you would use. Uh, Kath Kitson is just one of my absolute favorite designers. She is just amazing. So, and she's based in London. So that really is it. Um, I hope you like what you saw. I do have, uh, while we were gone, I did have a couple of Timu hauls come in. So that stuff's coming back. And then some of the crafting that I can't wait to show you. <clears throat> I do have, today is a Sunday. Um, this coming Saturday, I do actually have another show um, here at the Powerhouse in Rocky Mount. So if anyone lives in around the area, I'd love to see you at the Powerhouse in Rocky Mount. It's a noon to four show and it's indoors. So no worries about heat. Um, it's a lovely place to visit. Uh, it's at the Mills. So if you haven't had a chance, look up the Mills because it's it really is a cool place to visit. Um, so this is the Powerhouse, the Mills. Really excited about it. I hope you can make it, some of you. And in the meantime, um, one, last, uh, one last thing, one last favor. Please keep Kate in your prayers, if you can, if you would. I really appreciate all of you who have um, let us know that, that you are keeping her in your prayers. Um, she and I are going to catch up hopefully today a little more about what's going on. Um, but 
she's she has beat this before um so i absolutely believe that she's gonna beat it again so um but if you'll keep her in your prayers i i would greatly appreciate that all right i'll see you guys next time cheers <laughs>